Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising uh, for the first couple of weeks of September 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, be sure that you're registered at Bill per call if you want to reach me by phone. Uh, just make sure that you request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. And then also check me out on Patreon for the Venus sign reads. I do those monthly as well as additional content. And check me out on TikTok. Okay, so we have the overall energy as the Page of Swords. We've got the Two of Swords. Judgment. We have the Six of Wands, Nine of Cups, Temperance, High Priestess, and the Nine of Wands. All right, so I feel like someone's been calling out to you or someone's been reaching out trying to get your attention but you may not want to hear it. I feel like you have blocked somebody um, or you've shut them off. Um, it's possible that this person feels like it's not over or there's some sort of unfinished business, but I feel like maybe you don't trust this person and you're just very guarded towards them or maybe you feel like this person is immature or not ready for a relationship with you. Um, so I feel like you're definitely just being very protective about who you open up to, who you share your time with, your secrets with, you know, you're just very guarded. Um, I do feel that you have multiple contenders or people interested in you. Um, I do feel like you're going to have a successful a uh, couple of weeks if it comes to some sort of flirtation if you meet someone this person is going to be giving you a lot of attention um, I do feel like there is a mutual attraction and to me this also looks like whoever you've been pushing away or trying to shut out uh, I feel like you may decide to forgive this person or move forward with them um, or if it's no one that you know, like you're just deciding to go ahead and give the new person a try. I feel like you're going to be proud of the decisions that you're making going forward. Um, you also, if you're single, uh, I just feel like you're not sad about it. You're enjoying being single and the fact that you can flirt or the fact that people are flirting with you. You just look like you're having fun. Um, if you're dating someone, I feel like it's not too serious. If you're in a relationship, I feel that I don't know why there is this energy, this protective energy or this energy of it's a disconnect. There's some sort of detached energy coming from you and your partner. Um, I feel like you can't read them or they can't read you. Maybe you guys speak a different love language or something. Um, well, that's how the energy seems like it starts off, but you guys might definitely move past that and, and move towards a more positive direction. Uh, I do feel like someone is trying to earn or gain your trust. Um... Something may have happened where you needed to recover from an argument, breakup, or something painful. Those of you that are thinking about dating again, it, it definitely looks like you're deciding to have fun with it. And you're like, why not? Let me go ahead and test the waters and see what's out there. I might meet somebody. So it seems like you're more open to dating or getting to know, you know, other people. Now, you could be getting involved with the uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, or Sagittarius. Could be any sign, but those are the ones that are showing up. 
mm, whoever you connect with or who you're currently connected to is definitely something spiritual. It seems like you guys are able to like think of each other or attract each other, call that person in or channel each other some type of way. Like if you want to hear from them in a dream, you can go to sleep and channel that person and, and then next thing you know, you're dreaming about them and maybe they're able to do the same thing. Um, I feel though that one of you forgets the dream and the other one remembers. But you're still, you're still bonded in spirit. Um, I also feel too though that somebody might be coming to your defense, which also makes you feel good. So instead of someone being blocked, it may be that this person is always defending you or speaking in your defense. Um... So they're coming off as like protective and very supportive of you, but you would do it for them too. Somebody's gonna surrender to what they're feeling because I feel like maybe someone's been avoiding these feelings um, or trying not to drudge up past memories, but it's looking like at some point someone surrenders to it. Uh, I do feel that either way you need to like overcome the past. Uh, maybe the past has left you emotionally scarred or wounded. I just feel like don't, excuse me, don't put that baggage on other people. Don't let that be an excuse like focusing on why something failed in the past. Just focus on the future. Um, yeah now also looks like two different type of energies coming together one person being very confident and outgoing and the other person being very insecure or shy hmm I feel like you knew this person in a past life, like, but maybe you guys were actually in a war together. Like you were side by side, fighting side by side. Yeah, something's going on with the air sign where this person has expressed some interest in you or very little interest, but they really feel bigger than what they're expressing. They feel more than what they're expressing. They only show a little bit of themselves. It may take this person a, a long time to warm up to you. It also looks as if you're being watched by a couple of people, fire and air. You might have people competing for you even. Somebody is gonna stand out from the rest though. Somebody is eventually gonna get your attention or impress you or mentally stimulate you. Okay, so I see some sort of easygoing conversation. It feels very natural. Like you might feel like you can just like talk and talk 
and say anything to this person and they might feel that way about you as well. Um, I also feel like you're trying to understand why you connect with someone in a spiritual way. You're like, what is this connection? Like you're trying to learn about it or understand it. Um, you might be looking up different labels of relationships, just trying to see which one this, this person falls into. Some of you need sexual healing. You need um, your like your sacral chakra might be blocked and there needs to be some sort of energy released. Um, OK, now I also feel that somebody is responsible for bringing two people together. So a third party is going to bring two people together, not necessarily like third party and cheating, although it could be, but just more so like a third person is stepping in to um, communicate or speak on your behalf. And that's funny, I, I just got that in, um, I think I got that in the Leo reading too. Now, I also see that something's going to happen that makes you really excited about the future of your love life and your faith is restored. There may be something that you need to understand about manifestation and how it truly works, uh, or you are needing to personalize uh, some form of manifestation. So regardless of what popular manifestation technique you've been using or something you discovered, I still feel like you need to add your own spin on it to make it yours. I feel like someone also may be cutting their hair or getting a tattoo. Something about knives or scissors are standing out to me, but I feel like it has to do with someone's physical appearance. I see a tribal tattoo on somebody's arm. Um, and then I just see like a haircut. Hmm. I see two people meeting in private and having some sort of making negotiations or reaching some sort of agreement. I don't know if that's in regards to court legalities or a couple going through something. It seems like they're having to discuss things in private. You also may be trying to use your intuition to decide whether or not you should move forward with somebody. Hmm. If someone is going through depression, I feel like someone's going to help you, especially financially, like somebody is like trying to look out for you or assist you in some way. Hmm. Uh-oh. If someone takes too long to respond to you, um, it could come off as miscommunication or something being misinterpreted. You might just have to be patient. This person maybe speaks, only speaks when they're good and ready to, like when they feel like it's going to help the situation and not hurt it. Somebody is having a hard time trusting or moving on from the past. Somebody's feelings is still hurt from something that happened in the past. They still bring it up or talk about it. Um, may not know how to let that go. Mm. 
Someone also may be wanting you to really prove that you're serious or that you're sorry. Or maybe they're wanting you to do this. They're like, prove it, prove it. So someone needs validation or security before moving forward. So hopefully those messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for tuning in. Sending you love and grace.